Hey, what's up, guys? So now let's move on to uh, my top three AL pitchers for the rest of the season. Number one, my easiest choice so far is Justin Verlander. He's probably the biggest no-brainer in this entire thing. He won the Cy Young Award last year. He won the MVP. He was the first pitcher since Dennis Eckersley in 92 um, to win the MVP, and he was the first starting pitcher since 86 when Roger Clemens won the award. So obviously what he did last year, unbelievable. This year he leads the league in batting average against. He's tied for the league lead in Ks. He leads the league in whip, uh, which is walks and his innings pitched. He leads in just about every single pitching category. I actually got to face him this spring training, and he was barely trying in the game. It didn't count. He was only throwing about 90 to 91, and I can only imagine what it must be like to face him when he's throwing 100 miles an hour with his curveball and his changeup. He's basically unhittable, as you can tell from last year's numbers, and again this year. Plus, he has a ton of commercials, and he's kind of funny, so I think he'll be my number one pitcher. Okay, number two for my top three starting pitchers in the AL is Jared Weaver. And he doesn't get as much pub, at least here on the East Coast, because he's a West Coast guy, but he's a really special pitcher. He's third in the league in batting average against. He's third in whip. He's top 10 in Ks, and he's a workhorse. He throws a ton of innings every single year. He's been extremely consistent over the years, too. Um, I've had a chance to face Weaver in the past as well, and one of the toughest things I think about him, not only does he have really, really great stuff, and he's a big guy, and he throws hard and all that stuff, but he's really deceptive. He, If you watch him in games, he strides across his body, and he's this big, tall, lanky guy. He strides across his body, and he's just tough to pick up. It's, it's, it's really weird, and it's really deceptive. I think that really adds to um, what he's able to do, but just for what he's done last year and then again this year, um, he's going to be my number two guy. And my last guy on the list of top three pitchers in the AL that I would like to have is Felix Hernandez. And it, I went back and forth. I couldn't pick a third pitcher. I felt like there was a bunch of guys that I could have picked. And maybe I went with Hernandez just because of his name and what he's done in the past. But um, basically, uh, he's not having the year this year that he usually does. Um, he is tied for the lead league in K's. Uh, he leads the league in innings pitch, so another big innings eater. He's 12th in whip, so his numbers aren't your typical, what you typically see from Felix Hernandez, but I'm pretty confident with how good his stuff is and his track record over, I don't know how many years he's been around. He's been around forever. He's still pretty young, but um, I think that by the end of the year, his numbers will be right back to his normal self, and um, that's why I'll have him as my number three guy. Now, it's really tough to put three guys together, like I said before. Um, you know, I looked at CeCe Sabathia, um, David Price, two guys that I, I wanted to throw up there. Uh, Jake Peavy is having a great year this year. Brandon Morrow is having a great year this year. There's a lot of guys that are having great years this year. Um, but picking three is difficult. But those are the three guys I'll go with. So let me know what you think. And uh, leave in the comment section your three guys and why you would put them in there. I'd like to hear that. All right? Take care, guys.